We are following breaking news today. It's about an alarming new whistleblower complaint that alleges, quote, high numbers of female detainees, detained immigrants at an ICE detention center in Georgia received questionable hysterectomies while in ICE custody. That whistleblower complaint, first reported by The Intercept, was filed by a nurse who worked full time at the Irwin County Detention Center in Osceola, Georgia. The nurse says that detained women told her they didn't fully understand why they were undergoing hysterectomies and that one doctor in particular raised red flags among the nurses at the facility. My colleague, NBC's Julia Ainsley, has been reporting on this story, and she joins us now. Julia, t- t- tell me what we know. This is, we should just be, sort of show our work here. This has been swirling around on social media for a couple days. NBC has now, you've confirmed the story, and you've got some new reporting. Tell, tell us all about it. Well, our new reporting, Nicole, is based on conversations with four lawyers who represented clients in this facility over the past three years. And they're able to really broaden this story out and it explains why the whistleblower, Dawn Wooten, heard what she did. These lawyers tell us that they knew of women who said that they were afraid to go to this doctor and they identified him. His name is Mahindra Amin. He's a gynecologist in Douglas, Georgia. These women would be taken from the facility to his practice. Some said that they came back bruised, that he was overly harsh. They called him abusive in some of the allegations that the lawyers told us. And in at least two cases, there were women who were told that they needed a hysterectomy because they had cancer. One of those women, her medical records does not indicate that she ever had a biopsy to indicate that she had cancer. And another case, a lawyer told me that his client had a hysterectomy because she was told she had stage four cervical cancer. And after the hysterectomy, when she went to an oncologist, the oncologist said, you do not have cancer. So these are alarming allegations about this doctor. I personally call the doctor's office as soon as I identified myself as a reporter, I heard a click, the phone hung up. Clearly there are people reaching out with the same questions we have today. And my colleague Jacob Soberoff today interviewed Don Wooten, the whistleblower that began this entire chain of events that has revealed this information. And here's what she had to tell Jacob today. And I should warn viewers ahead of this, what she has to say is disturbing. You're quoted in the complaint as saying, that's his specialty, he's the uterus collector. Is that how people refer to this doctor? That's how the detainees refer to this physician. They refer to him as, I had a detainee to ask me, she said, well, what is he doing, Ms. Wooten, collecting all of our uteruses? And I just looked at her puzzle, because I didn't have an answer. I didn't accompany them on the procedures. And it's mind blowing and it's mind boggling. When you get in your vehicle after a 12 hour shift and you cry yourself home and you're the only one in the vehicle asking why, what is going on, what is happening. um, I don't have an answer. Why is nobody not hearing them or taking them, so to speak, seriously? I don't have an answer. So shift after shift, then it gets to be to where you don't want to report the word because you don't have an answer. You don't have a reason. And they're going to ask you why. Now, Nicole, ICE has said that they don't comment on allegations that have been brought to their inspector general, just like this whistleblower complaint was. But they say that in general, anonymous, unproven allegations made with it out any fact checkable specifics should be treated with the appropriate skepticism they deserve. So they're clearly questioning Don Wooten here. But so far, ICE has not responded to the new reporting by NBC News that calls out this doctor by name and gives specific allegations that clients gave their lawyers. The other thing we're waiting for them to respond to, as well as the company that runs the facility, is the allegations from the lawyers that they say they went to leadership, to management at this facility facility and said, look, you have a problem with this doctor. Our clients are afraid to go back to them. He is hurting these women. And they continued for years to keep using this gynecologist to perform this care. Now, right now, ICE has not responded to that new reporting. 
Julia, can you widen the lens on the medical care that is um, standard for female detainees? It just sounds like a whole lot of gynecological care when we read about the complete and abject neglect around COVID. Yeah, you're you're hitting it. These are the conversations I've been having all day, Nicole. I mean, I've been talking to lawyers who say, "Look, I have pay, I have clients in detention who have diabetes and couldn't get their medication, yet they were told to go back for a pap smear and then to go again when that seemed irregular. It seemed like they were getting way too much care from a gynecologist and perhaps doing very unnecessary procedures and not enough of what you would need in a short-term detention situation. We know that they aren't supposed to stay longer than six months. Why were they getting so much care on this one area? And I will also point out that this doctor was part of a civil settlement with the Justice Department in 2015, where he and other doctors had to pay over $500,000 and a fine for fraudulent claims to Medicaid. So that means that we're already looking at a doctor who has at least been, you know, alleged to have tried to inflate his claims in order to get more money. And that, I think, is the allegation here. Why was he doing so much work if, as it seems, a lot of these procedures were not necessary? Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.